Excuse me, sir, can you give me back my hat? Thank you. Welcome to Madrid, once the center of the Spanish Empire. And welcome to Spain, a country known for its beaches, its hot weather, also the bullfights, of course, and the tapas, little snacks that they like to eat here. And one of those things we're gonna check out today. And as I'm always hungry, I mean, you might have guessed it already, we're gonna go on a little tapas hunt today. And I'm gonna look for the best tapas in Madrid. But first, I uh, came here to this train station because there's something special. And you might be wondering already, where are you? Why is it so uh, tropical looking in the background? Well, this train station here is called the Etocha train station and it actually houses tropical gardens, botanic gardens so to speak. The idea behind this is, so is, as I flip the camera, you can see that the train station actually only starts here. So people start boarding their trains back there and this is the entrance hall basically and in the early days this was also used for for trains so train tracks used to run here but then they changed it up a little it's not that long ago when they uh, actually actually came up with the idea to put a tropical garden inside here and it makes perfect sense because you can see the the roof it's uh, it's made of steel and glass like if you know I like steel and glass if you have seen the video I made about Milan <laughs> so the metal structure and glazed roof covering the platforms and the station made it ideal to use this whole structure as a greenhouse basically so this is basically a real greenhouse a tropical garden how cool is that and the 4,000 square meters um, garden contains up to 7,000 plants and 400 uh, different species from uh, the Americas, from Asia, from Australia. Who would have thought? Amazing. There are also several restaurants and cafes down here, for example, selling the infamous Mahu beer. But we're not going to check them out as we are on a hunt. And I will go there now um, to my first. So I have my first uh, real tapas here and I'll bring the camera along and I'll hop in the metro just in a second. Maybe I'll stumble across something on the way also. We'll see. Also, I think this is cool how, how these things are aligned here. It's always a double. Very interesting and very loud in here. Very lively, I like it. Really like it. I catch you guys next, uh, next in the next very soon. So here you have trains to Barcelona, to Malaga, Valencia, Toledo, Sevilla, and all those places. Hello? Yeah? Alright. Thank you. Bye bye. They just told me the first place should be right around the corner. Let's check it out. <laughs> so this is basically caught fish and tuna. And it's very nice. With I don't even know. <clears throat> Maybe cheese or something, but it tastes really nice. And here, this is basically just a tuna, a piece of tuna, like canned tuna or something. But I like canned tuna, so it's nice. And here you have another piece of cod fish. But this is just the fish this time. I sat down and now they brought me a chair. How nice. Normally you just stand. Many people just stand. But if there's a chair, I'm glad. I'm glad you take it. Okay, on to the fish. 
So that is the place behind me. And you can see how many people are lining up here. I mean, it was good. But people really need their fish fix, it seems. And this is the place to get the fish fix. So I had... It was hard to film in there, so I had to improvise a little bit. I had one of those um, tuna things and two codfish. One with cheese and one just a pure codfish. But it was very nice. And now I'm gonna go uh, up on the roof. Here I was told there's a very nice view on the rooftop. And then I'll go to the, uh, to the next tapas bar and I'll bring the camera along. Stay tuned. All right, here we are, the Museum of Hamon. Let's check you out. This is the place here, and this is what everyone orders. It is um, paella. It seems to be paella. Seafood paella with um, peas. But very nice. And also ordered a beer and some more hamon. Because after all, this is the uh, museum, museum, museum. Wow, museum um, the hamon. So I have to have hamon. I just finished the fish, the paella, and now it's enough with the fish for today. And I ordered some hamon, some real hamon. Check this out. Oh my God! Look how how much hamon I caught. I told him just a little bit, please, and that's what he got me. Also, I'm sitting, uh, I'm not sitting, I'm eating on this, um, on this big thing here. I'm really uh, into the hamon right now. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's try the hamon. Let's put it on the, put it on the white bread. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I hope they don't rip me off. Maybe this was a giant scam because it's not not a little bit in my opinion. But I will be able to finish it definitely. It's perfect, I love it. Spain so far, food wise, amazing guys. This is a real feast. It's a lot of Serrano, 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 come on, Serrano. Also, the beer is very good. Okay, all done. It was perfectly nice. <laughs> um, let's pay and let's get out of here. So again, here this is the place behind me, and also in front of me there's places, but this one is not selling tapas anymore it seems maybe hit by the crisis however um, I was really um, impressed actually not only with the quality of the food but also with prices because if you're wondering I paid six euros for for each of uh, those two places that I visited so oh look at that La Catedral looks fancy inside um, I paid six euros each time, so six euros for the fish tapas and six euros for the paella, the, the little paella at least, and the serrano here. So, and it was really nice. It tasted good, and I'm pretty full after this meal. Also, check out this building. Amazing architecture is also. Um, stunning here and yeah i'll leave you guys with with this hope you enjoyed the food hope you're not too hungry now um i certainly am not tonight i'm probably just gonna go for something something normal a normal restaurant i actually wanted to check out the world's oldest restaurant also which is here but i read that it's a a tourist scam pretty much so 
I'm not going there. It was actually on my list to uh, on my list of things to do here in Madrid and to film and bring the camera along. But as I read that it's a tourist scam and I saw the prices and people said that the food is not actually good. I don't want to I don't want to be bothered and then go there basically. Just stick to the tapas. This is this is what uh, Madrid is famous for what Spain is famous for. And now let's check into the Four Seasons. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it would be nice though. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed, enjoyed these uh, types of videos. Let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts, any, uh, any requests, anything to say basically. Um, and I'll see you around.